on UTBS News. An incident on the St. Cloud State campus causes a campus-wide alert. And then, the New York primary's anticipation continues to build. But first, an earthquake strikes Japan, leaving many in distress. UTBS News starts right now. Good evening and welcome to UTBS News at 6 o'clock. I'm Brianna Saunders. And I'm Lydia Crackle. Thank you for joining us. Our top story tonight concerns the powerful earthquake that has rocked the southern Japanese city of Komoto on Saturday night, a day after an earlier earthquake killed nine people. The, the, ma the magnitude of the 7.3 earthquake hit a depth of six miles in the Kyushu region, and at least three people have died and hundreds were injured. A village has been evacuated after a dam collapse and a tsunami warning was issued and lifted 50 minutes later. Japan is regularly hit by earthquakes, but this new earthquake in Kyushu was much bigger and hit a wider area than the one days before. In the last 48 hours since the quake, thousands of people in Japan have fled to the streets and into parks to seek shelter. UTVS News will keep you updated as more information becomes available. <laughs> 